Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nick with Indie Eagle, and I know I said last time that we would probably be making a game over screen, but a user suggested that I do walking animations and health bars. So this time we will be focusing on walking animations. So the first thing we want to do is open up our sprites, and uh, I know I named this uh, Sprite Ball but uh, we're actually going to be completely changing that. Uh, so delete the blinking animation, we'll completely be redoing the uh, damaged effect. And we'll just redraw him. Create a new blank canvas here. And you can make your sprite anything that you want, but I'm just going to do a really simple sprite to demonstrate with. There actually used to be a game uh, called Jumper, I believe, that used a character similar to this. His name was Ogmo, I believe. But, uh, it was actually a really fun game, but they were so hard it was kind of frustrating. So, that's our player now. And we'll just uh, leave it the same because we've already got code that. Uh, I, I think we already have code using Sprite Ball. I haven't. I don't really remember, but we'll just leave that the same. So duplicate this, and uh, I'll use a new a new tool in here. It's this right here, the select uh, selecting a region tool, and we'll just uh, select his eyes and mouth, and move them to his right or to our right, and fill that in. And now create a sub image. And create or draw a little line here and then erase the rest. Alright. Now select this first one with both of his legs down and duplicate it again and use this little arrow to push it over one sub image. Now we'll duplicate that again and open this one up and do the same thing except to the other leg and there's our animation right there and we'll just name this SPR ball R for sprout ball rot now we'll just duplicate this sprout ball rot and go up to transform mirror slash flip we already have a mirror horizontally selected, so just click OK, and it just flips the sprites. So we'll name this SPR Ball Left. Now we need a jumping animation. So duplicate the normal one of him just standing there. And uh, we're going to be doing basically the same thing. We'll just select his eyes and mouth and move them up like that. To, uh, to make it look like he's looking up, you know. And we'll just uh, move both legs up like this. Okay. Now name that. And create, duplicate the normal stance again. And the only thing we'll be doing with this one is moving his eyes and mouth down. So about right there. Now, we'll, uh, I forgot to name that. SPR ball D. Now we want to get the jumping sprot and duplicate it again. This time, select his eyes and mouth and move them a little to the right. You'll see why I'm doing this in a little bit. Now I'll name that something like SPR Ball U R and duplicate that one and transform mirror flip horizontally and name that SPR Ball U L. Now let's do the same thing with this uh, one where he's looking down.
and duplicate once more. Okay, so that's about all we're going to be doing with the sprat drawing. So we'll just open up the player now. Now we go into the uh, rot key press event. And in this code, put this. Okay. So the sprat index, what that does is it changes the sprat to whatever you set the equals to, which in this case is SPR ball R, which is where he's looking to the rot and running. And since we've already set up the image speed to be zero, we're going to have to declare it right here, uh, image speed equals 0 0.5. So click OK and go to the left key press. Okay, now this is the same thing except we're using SPR ball L. Now go into the step event. In here we put if invents equals true, image speed equals 0 0.5, else image speed equals 0. Let's just completely delete that right now. Okay, now that pretty much cleans up your step event a lot. So let's create a new event key release rot and in here we will put so we're just gonna set the sprot back to the regular sprot ball and image speed to zero so we can just duplicate that and do another key release left okay now we'll go into the step event and add in a few lines and put this. Okay, so what this is going to be doing is it's going to check if V speed is below zero, it's going to set it to SPR ball U. Now, what we'll do is if V speed is above zero, sprite index equals ball D. So that's going to be where when you press up, your V speed actually goes below zero, minus 10 or whatever you set. So he'll start looking up. And then when you come to the peak of the jump, the V speed starts going uh, back down, so he'll start looking down again. Now we want to add in a few more things here. Okay, I'll explain this before moving on. So this is going to be the same thing as if V speed is below zero. But we've added in this right here. I don't know if I've used this yet. I can't remember. But uh, basically it's just two AND symbols. And what it does is it allows you to put two uh, things for the IF event to check. Mm -hmm. So it would be... V speed below zero and keyboard check VK rot, which all that does is it checks if you're holding down the rot keyboard or the rot arrow on the keyboard, and then it sets the sprite to SPR ball UR. So we can just copy that and paste it here and change this to left and this to L. Okay, now we're gonna have to do the same thing for V speed is above zero so
okay this is the exact same thing as this here except it is checking if v speed is above so we'll just copy and paste that and change this right to left and this r to l okay now we need to uh, go in here and um, set this to sprat index equals spr ball and that's all we'll do alright so let's go on ahead and test this out now as you can see he's animated and look at that when you jump and you are holding a key down he even looks up and in that direction so there's the walking animation hmm that's weird let's try that again hmm all right, well, I don't know what caused him to shoot up in the air like that, but uh, I'm guessing it's not a very big problem. I'll probably look through my code and see if I can fix that and put it in another tutorial. That does it for the animation, though, and we will see you next time.